Fly Fishing World. I'm Bill Dropless, the host of the Anfish Fishing video vlog series. Doing a video today on positioning of the boat, and hopefully my tripod over there, my chair does not fall off uh, or fall over on me. But um, I usually get out my boat and try and position myself. Today there's a little bit of a current, a little bit of a wind coming at me. I'm not sure if I'm just getting it on camera, but I am kind of just drifting here. Um, one of my strategies casting the shoreline is I'll position myself 40, 50, 60 yards away from shore and very fine tune little movements like that with my trolling motor as I move along the shore and I maintain sitting in that little headwind that I'm in right now um, actually, actually pardon me, tailwind that's actually just pushing me along the shoreline and most of the time in that scenario if you're positioned as I am now I can pretty much drift this entire shoreline, or a good portion of it, just basically touching the trolling motor. A few little adjustments here and there to keep me in line, to keep me in that wind fun uh, funnel. And that's what you're going to want to find. If I go over a little bit, I might end up on shore. If I go over that way, it might be too strong. So you're going to try and find that midpoint to be able to drift the shoreline. Again, little minute uh, adjustments with the trolling motor itself will keep you from getting out of that wind funnel. Um, again, uh, if you're in a smaller boat, you can do the same thing. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a V-hull or a bass boat or whatever it is. Position yourself in this little wind fun uh, funnel, and it's not too far, usually from shore. You're looking at about 30, 40 yards. Um, in most cases, I kind of nose the boat out to the left a little bit, and I'll drift this way. And if I have somebody fishing with me, they might be next to me here, or they might be in the back end there. But it's a great strategy. It uh, keeps you off the trolling motor, keeps your batteries fresh a little longer as well because you're not using them as much. Um, it's fall up here, so yes, I'm utilizing a little bit of that wind. Uh, there are those windy summer days, windy spring days where you can do this as well. Sometimes you'll have those days where it's very stagnant and dead, no wind. Great. Granted, they're going to have to get on the trolling motor. That part I understand. But if you can actually get to these areas and position yourself, and you'll feel it. If I, if I know and move over to the right another say 15 20 yards I'm gonna feel a gustier wind uh, right here where I am I'm kind of just on the tail end of it I'm on the right side of it and it's just drifting me along the shoreline and it's allowing me to be able to cast fish with basically not really touching the trolling motor that much so I hope you found this video helpful I'm gonna get back to some fishing out here and uh, thanks for tuning in see you next time